Rose Ijalango from the Ministry of Health Life in Studio. She's attached to the National Vaccines and Immunization Program. Thank you so much, Dr. Tari. Thank you for having me in the studio. Very well. Now, the, we'll get straight into it. The World Health Organization mm -hmm. has approved a vaccine against uh, malaria uh, that is being seen as a major, major milestone. And mm -hmm. before you tell us about the impact of that breakthrough, tell us first how severe malaria is in Kenya. Uh, I think one of the diseases that is commonly known in this country is malaria. So we do know the impact of malaria in our lives and especially the mothers know the impact of malaria in their children. What I do know is that in the last uh, Kenya malaria uh, indicator survey that was done in 2020 showed that uh, we have a national prevalence of 6% right from 8% from 2015. However, in the Lake Endemic region, we do have a prevalence of currently 20% up from previously 27 percent so the prevalence still hasn't gone down as we expected it's sort of plateaued mm -hmm. then the second thing is that malaria um, outpatient visits account for the second uh, highest in the country so especially in the endemic regions so if you go to the outpatient clinics you're more likely to see someone who has presented with malaria mm -hmm. and then lastly uh, malaria disease still contributes to the top five diseases that are, uh, affect children under five. So it contributes to a high mortality mm -hmm. and morbidity to children who are aged less than five years of age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kenya 